Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text for today is Revelation chapter 7, verses 2 through 17, and Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. The Reverend Michael Meyer is preaching. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. A reading from the book of Revelation. After this I looked... Behold, a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around at the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures, And they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these clothed in white robes, and from where have they come? I said to him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. This is the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Martin Luther gives us the simplest of definitions for the church in the small called articles. Thank God, a seven-year-old child knows what the church is, namely, the sheep who hear the voice of their shepherd. You see, it is not defined by the Pope or built upon monks squirreled away in a monastery. Likewise, it is not defined by the size and stature of buildings or by outdated membership rosters. It does not bend the knee to COVID or to critical theory. Rather, the church is manifested in sheep who hear their shepherd's voice. Now, there are other voices out there, to be sure. The last several years have been marked by a proliferation of voices, haven't they? A veritable cacophony of medical and political experts from across social media and 24-hour news outlets whose conflicting talking points stir up plenty of listeners, but in the end consist of little more than fear and angst, of hatred and anger. So if we have learned anything from this as faithful Lutherans, let it be that Christ, more than ever, is the answer. Let it be that Jesus speaks and we listen. All the other voices be damned. So don't be led astray or be confused by the popular talking heads of the day. Theirs are the bleats and the moans of sheep who want to kill the shepherd and supplant their word for his. They want you to fear, love, and trust in them and their words above all things. They are, in fact, not sheep at all, but ravenous wolves who seek to devour you. So, dear Christian, watch out. Be on your guard. But do not be afraid. In the end, their voices have no power. Sure, they may one day kill the body. The blood of the martyrs cries out as witness to this danger. But they cannot kill the soul. That, dear brothers and sisters, belongs to Christ. Your good shepherd. For he has claimed you as his own in the waters of holy baptism. He has marked you as one redeemed and holds you in the palm of his hand from whence nothing can snatch you. Now this is one of the wonderful blessings of All Saints Day. We commemorate those who have gone before us, 
those who have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. It's a reminder to us that death is the final enemy to be defeated and that all Christians must one day face it. It also reminds us that even in the midst of this great tribulation, death has been defeated and has no power over us. Thus, we can confess with confidence that all those voices outside of the church, all that great cacophony of talking heads, of pundits and contradictions, that they have no power. The great good shepherd goes before you as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, protecting and guarding you with his presence, leading you to green pastures and springs of living waters, even as he wipes away your tears. His voice is gentle and yet powerful. You know it. You hear it. Even now it calls out to you by name to enliven and to quicken you. It speaks. He speaks. And that which he wills happens. For he who created the heavens and the earth with simply his voice and said, Let there be light, and there was light. Well, this same word breaks the darkness of our hearts and it pierces to the innermost being, and it is good. Likewise, he who spoke to the waters, causing them to teem with life, joins his waters, his voice to the waters again, and life-giving fountains spring forth in the wilderness of humanity, and it is good. He who spoke to the dust of the ground and formed man speaks to mere bread and wine, declaring it to be his body and his blood, so that those who eat and drink of it are refreshed and forgiven, and it is so, and it is good. The voice of the great I Am, who called out from the burning bush, who made those who were no people his own dear people, he gives veracity and the authority to forgive sins to those whom he calls to preach his word and to deliver absolution. And it's good. The good shepherd whose voice cries out to gather the lost sheep of the house of Israel, cries out to you this very day to call, to gather, enlighten, to sanctify, and to keep you in the one true faith. Thus, you are saved. Eternal life is yours. And one day, you will be reunited with your loved ones who have died in the faith. For no one can snatch you from the Father's hand. And it is very good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In joyful expectation of the resurrection to eternal life, we remember before the Lord our departed family and friends who have gone before us in the faith and all those who are in our hearts and minds this day. John Bundeshu. Paul Bundeshu, Margaret Bundeshu, Geraldine Eccles, Michelle Egold. Nina Giebert, Al Golseth, Ronald A. Hetz, Tom Herzog, Nancy Hoffman, Franklin Hokana, Lewis Johnson, Lula Johnson,
Adam Nauer. Jim Krause. Charles Kramer. Rosemary Kramer. Blolinda Lohman. Linda Lohman. Wesley Lohman. Diane Luby. Wayne Luders. Edward Opart. John Ray Olson. Dolores Patton. Jack Otto Patton. Joseph Shannon. Jeffrey Smith. Mabel Smith. Jerry Snyder. Lisa Stapp. Jean Martin Steffi. Jim Thompson. Gretchen Trinkline. Carol Fowler Werner. Roland Werner. William Whithands. And Hertha Ziegler. Thank you for joining us for Chapel. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces, visit kfuo.org/chapel.